What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys a command line utility that can help you calculate IP addresses. Now, as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to show you guys a command line utility for Linux that can help you calculate IP addresses as well as subnet masks and all your network information. And when I was first starting out in the IT field, I was a network administrator. And I remember when I went through school as well as first starting out, uh, the toughest part for me was calculating those IP addresses as well as subnet masks. And I remember I had a spreadsheet and sometimes I had to write things out, calculate it on a, on a piece of paper in order to figure everything out. And it was a formula that I had to follow and all that stuff. So when I found this command line utility, I was like, oh, this is super dope. I wish they had this for, for me when I was, you know, younger or when I was first starting out. So I was like, oh man, let me go down and share this with you guys. Uh, for anybody that's out there, you know, working as a network administrator and you need to you know quickly calculate ip addresses and subnet masks then you can use this command line utility and i know it's plenty of applications out here that you can install on your phone and websites you can actually go to that'll help you calculate it but i just thought this was super dope and i wanted to share it with my audience and hopefully this uh, help somebody that's just getting into networking. So this information, you know, will help you if if need be, if you want to use it. And also this is a Linux channel. And so I just wanted to cover, you know, strictly command line tools as well as, you know, other applications. And when I found this one, I was like, oh, I definitely have to share it with you guys. So let's go down and hop on my server and show you guys how to actually install it and use it. Okay, cool. So I have my Ubuntu 20.0 for a server ubuntu server uh set up and let's go down and go through and install this application and the name of it is and that's something that i forgot to say it's called ip calc that's the package name and it's in the repositories on ubuntu and you can also install it on cent os as well as rail and fedora and i haven't checked but i I believe it's in the Orch repository, so you guys should be able to install it on Orch as well. But I'm gonna be installing it on Debian, well, Ubuntu, so let's go on and do that now. And the first thing, you know, you always want to do when installing a new application on a Ubuntu system is to update it. So let's run the update commands now, and that's sudo apt updates, and then we can run them together by running putting the ampersand ampersand and then let's go sudo apps upgrade and then let's put that dash y on the end that way we don't have to worry about uh answering a little question that'll pop up so let's go down and wait for this to finish and then also yeah and then it looks like we don't have any updates so we're gonna skip through this uh and go down and install our application and like i stated the package name is ip calc so let's go sudo apps install ip calc and tab it out right fast but yeah that's the command so let's go down and go through this right fast and it shouldn't take too long because it's a small script it's basically a script that does all the calculations for you now let's go down and go to the man page now that we have it installed so let's type man and then ip calc and press enter boom and here we go here's some information about the actual command and i'm glad they have a man page some applications or utilities don't have a man page or a manual but let's go down and uh read a little bit about it it says ip calc and ip version 4 network net mass broadcast etc calculator and then it says here's the synopsis or basically how you run it so you uh ip calc and then the options and then you put in the ip address or net mass you know all that and then description it says ip calc takes an ip version 4 address and net mass and calculates the resulting broadcast network cisco wildcard mass and host range by giving a second mass you can design sub and super networks 
It is also intended to be a teaching tool and presents the results as easy to understand binary values. So that's one cool feature about the actual application. I'll show you guys when I actually run it, but it actually puts the binary values next to each line. So I'll show you guys that, like I said, in a second, but here are the options for it. So you can go through and check out these options. They got a few options. Um, for the command that you can run so let's go on and uh and then also here's some of the examples which is kind of what i'm gonna go through and show you guys how to actually run but let's go down and quit the man page and go ahead on and test out the command so we can see the options or see the results so let's press q for quit and let me go down and clear the screen and let's go down and type in the command so it's ip calc and then we want to type in our IP address. So I'm going to just use 192.168.1.0 and press enter. That way we can see the results. And as you can see, that's cool. It, you know, produces, you know, all the network information for this IP address. Uh, so we got the address, we got the net mass. So it breaks it all out for you, the subnet mass. So you got 255.255.255.0. And and then it's a 24 network so and then also here's the wild cord and then network and then this is the host minimum so it's the first ip address and then the max this is the last ip address and then we always know the broadcast address is the last ip address and then this is the number of hosts and then also the network which is it's a class c ip address and private internet so that's a good amount of information, but you can see that it also provides those, uh, like I stated, it provides those binaries next to it. So that, you know, explains it all to you, or you can at least get an understanding of what the binaries actually look like. Now, let's say you don't want to see the binaries. You only want to see the codes. There's, there's a, or the addresses let's uh just go down and show you that other this one option right fast but it's dash b so you put dash b in front of it and that'll not display the binaries so that i just wanted to show you guys that so you guys can do that on your own if you need to if you don't want to see the binaries then you can exclude them by typing dash b oh cool okay cool Let, now let's say you already know what the cider number is for the IP address that you're trying to calculate, well, you can actually run it uh, by putting the CIDR number at the end of it. So, and if you don't know what the CIDR number is, it's basically the shorthand version of the subnet mask. Uh, so let's type 24 on the end of it. And if you press enter there, that'll go it on and give you the breakout of the 24 network mask uh, or subnet mask. You know, it'll break it out, let's say, you know and i just wanted to explain that to you because it could be different from 24 uh and as you see up here when you just type it in directly type in the ip address uh straight out without the subnet mask or the cider number on the end of it you know it'll automatically it automatically calculates the 24 address for this uh but let's say it's something different because it could be different let's say you have a a mass for a specific amount of hosts like uh for instance one of them i know is like 27 so if we type that in you know we could break it out and it'll tell you what the network mass or the subnet mass is for that and then as you can see that's for like uh 30 hosts so you know and give you the all the information for that you know site that ip address as well as with the cider uh, the cider number on the end or CID or I always call the CIDR number. So that's super cool that it does that. Now it's another option I wanted to show you guys and it's actually calculating multiple or actually calculating a single subnet based on the amount of host. So let's say you don't know what the CIDR number is. Uh, so let's take that off and then we can leave the dash B on there to take out the binary. But let's say you only want to look look at a single subnet with a certain amount of hosts. So let's go down and use the dash S option. So if we type dash S and then type in the amount of hosts that we want. So let's say we only want 10 hosts. So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna just put the number 10. 
and it'll calculate based on what you you know put there so as you can see it, it breaks out you know it breaks out the address you know net mass wild card you know all the normal stuff that it did earlier but what you'll see down here it says requested size so we only want 10 hosts well this is the information for that uh so it's a network of uh or a net mass of 255.255.255.240 and the cider number is 28 and so that network ip address is that and then the host minimum that's where it starts that's where it ends and then the broadcast address is right there so this breaks it all out for you whatever and you'll be good to go on it but also let's say you want to look at multiple subnets or you know you want to have multiple subnets or you want to calculate multiple subnets using a single ip address so if we go we type it there you can do multiple subnets and just like it uh broke out the requested right here uh if you add more to it then it'll break those out as well so if we type uh let's say we need another address for you know 20 ip addresses or another uh subnet with about 20 ip addresses and then let's say let's actually make it uh simpler let's go five and then 10 and then 20. so let's break that out right fast let's press enter and as you can see it'll give you three requests at this point so if you scroll up on this uh it'll break out the ip address up here calculate everything up here and then it'll break out each one of the requested numbers uh subnet numbers that you wanted so five hosts as you can see five hosts uh and it breaks out the ip addresses calculate everything for you you know what i'm saying it gives you the net mass and everything and then right here this is the 10 host one boom and then this is for 20 hosts right here so that gives you all that information which is super cool so this application is dope you know what i'm saying if you if you're new to networking or you're trying to understand networking this thing will definitely help you out but i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know this video was kind of super short but i just wanted to get straight to the point so you guys can see this command or see this little utility install it and start using it if you need to for your networking but i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comment boxes below and of course keep it techy